In this video, we're going to talk about when someone shares your content on Facebook, sometimes it chooses the wrong thumbnail. We're going to show you how to fix that. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the way that Facebook decides which image to use when you share a post is by using something called Open Graph Meta Tags. So you could write code and put in Open Graph Meta Tags on every post before you share it, or you could use the AIO SEO plugin and it can take care of this for you. So from the WordPress dashboard, head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left and click on Social Networks. Make sure you're on the Facebook tab up top. And you want to make sure that this toggle switch is in the on position next to enable open graph markup. If it's not, simply toggle it on. So below that toggle switch is an area that says default post image source, where you can select, as the name implies, the default post image source. The first one is default image set below, where you would set right here below that. This is not the best idea because it uses the same image for every single post you would share on Facebook. A better option might be featured image, which uses the featured image from your post or page in WordPress. Attached image, the first image in content on your post or page. An image from a custom field you can set, or the post author image, which is an image of the post author. And then first available image, will go through these and select the first available one. You can also override these on each individual post. But it's a good idea to kind of pick the best one here. So I'm going to pick featured image and have it use the featured image of the poster page when my content is shared on Facebook. Below that is default post Facebook image. I encourage you to select an image here anyway, even though we just selected above to use the featured image. So what this will do is in the case that you have a poster page that does not have a featured image, it will use this as a fallback. So I'm going to click the upload or select image button and just use the logo image I have here. If your theme has a logo image as part of your theme, our plugin will use that logo image anyway. That's kind of like the fallback to the fallback. There are a lot of other settings on this page, but for the purposes of this tutorial, getting Facebook to use the correct image when you share your page or post, this is all we want to touch on today. So click the big blue Save Changes button, and we're done. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we can also change the image that's shared on an individual post or page. So if we scroll back up and head on over to the post section. We could go to pages too, either one, it doesn't matter. I'm going to select my setting recipe schema markup post. When we scroll on down below the content to the AIO SEO section and click on the social tab. So down here where it says image source, we have a similar drop down here. So the first option here, default image source set in social networks, is talking about what we just set. So for this article, let's pretend I wanted to use a different image. So I could select custom image, and then I could choose an image here. So for the sake of this example, let's say I wanted to use my face here, and that's the image that will be shared now on Facebook when I share this article. Click update, and you're done. So one last thing we can do to prevent Facebook from showing the incorrect image, or worse yet, showing no image, is to set an image for your homepage for when someone shares your homepage on Facebook. So right now we're back on the all-in-one SEO dashboard. If we scroll on down on the menu on the left-hand side and click social networks, and then click on the Facebook tab up top, and then on this page of settings, scroll all the way down to where you see homepage settings. And here we can select an image to be used when someone shares our homepage. So in this example, I'm gonna say, let's use our all-in-one SEO logo. And we can see in the preview area here that it uses an image of our logo when someone shares our homepage on Facebook. One last thing to mention is sometimes when you do this and you change the image that you're gonna use in Facebook, it doesn't take effect immediately because Facebook has a cache of the old image, but you can manually update that cache. So if you go to Google and search for Facebook debugger and then click on the first result that comes up. You get this uh, area that says sharing debuggers. And what you want to do is paste in a link here and simply hit the debug button. You don't have to bother with anything down here. By clicking the debug button, you are automatically refreshing the cache for that page. So that's how to fix when someone shares your content on Facebook and it doesn't use the right thumbnail image. If you click on this next video right here, We'll show you how to set up Facebook integration in the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give it a like. 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful SEO WordPress plugin, All-in-One SEO.